M47 Patton was designed in 1949 by the United States military to replace the aging US tank fleet of obsolete M4 Shermans, M26 Pershings and M46 Pattons. It never saw active combat with the US Army, but 8,576 vehicles were built and were extensively used by many nations around the world, such as France, Germany, Iran, Spain, and the subject of today's videos, Italy. Welcome to a new Tank Encyclopedia voiced article covering the use of the M47 pattern by the Italian Army. If you like our content, please do consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds gathered are used for the illustrations that accompany all of our articles and videos. Every little bit counts, so even one dollar goes a long way to helping us. Thank you. In 1948, before the Korean War, a new tank was slowly making its way through the acquisition process. The prototype was called T-42. This 33.8-ton tank had a turret with a thicker armor than the M46 Patton, but its 500 horsepower engine caused a lot of issues and its development bogged down. At the dawn of the Korean War, the American engineers tried to quickly resolve the problem. The Detroit tank arsenal took the M46 Patton hull and mounted the heavier T-42 turret on it. The turret was armed with the new T-119 90mm cannon, a modernized version of the M3 gun mounted on the previous M26 and M46. The vehicle now weighed 44.1 tons, was provisionally called M46E2, or the Patton II. After some more modifications, it received the name of M47 Patton and went into production in June 1951, entering service in the US Army shortly thereafter. Despite having been built with the shortcomings of the US experience in Korea in mind, it was never used in action in this war. In 1955, it was replaced in frontline units of the US Army by the more powerful and modern M48 Patton. 900 M47 Pattons were supplied to the Italian Army by the USA within the Mutual Defense Assistance Act and remained in service from 1952 until the end of 1981 in all armored units, including the Carabinieri Tank Brigade. The Mutual Defense Assistance Act was a US military aid program to support its allies in the fight against the communist bloc during the early stages of the Cold War. The program began in 1949 and lasted until the 1970s and included the supply of military equipment on very advantageous terms. A total of $3.3 billion of surplus military vehicles were received by several European states, such as France, Spain, Belgium, Norway, and Italy, which, due to their proximity to the USSR and their underdeveloped war industry in the late 1940s and early 1950s, received mostly tanks, but also warplanes, submarines, and warships. When it first entered service, the M47 Patton replaced the World War II vintage and clearly obsolete Semovente M41 and M42-7518, the M4 Shermans, and other vehicles based on the Sherman hull of the Italian army. The Shermans were sold off to the Israelis or used as training vehicles until 1960, and they were then scrapped. The 90mm M36 gun of the Patton was much appreciated by the Italian tank men, who could now deploy vehicles capable of facing the most powerful Soviet vehicles of the time, such as the T-55. Italy then received two more batches of M47 Pattons, the first in 1962, when the Italian army obtained another 1,000 M47s, bought at a discount price from the US army, which was decommissioning them. Finally, in 1969, another 600 vehicles were bought from the Federal Republic of Germany, West Germany, which had retired them from service. After the acquisition of the German batch, the Italian army owned 2,580 M47 patterns, 30% of the entire M47 production. 
The camouflage was not changed and remained the typical US Army olive drab. The vehicles used by Italy were provided with all three types of muzzle brakes. The early one also mounted on the M46 pattern, the mid one with two side holes, and a few later T-shaped ones used on the M48 pattern. From the late 50s up to 1960, all the Italian M47s were modified in Italian factories by removing the whole machine gun and covering the hole with an armor plate, eliminating the whole machine gunner's seat and the 7.62mm side rack. The whole machine gunner's hatch was sealed by welding it to the hole and the periscope was removed. However, the emergency hatch door under the machine gunner's seat was left. This change reduced the crew to four men. The Browning M1919 coaxial machine gun was replaced by an Italian-made Beretta MG4259 7.62mm and the 60 round rack in the hull was modified by adding more armor. Also, the radio equipment was changed and the standard SCR528 radio was changed with the SCR508, which was previously mounted only on the platoon command tanks. On the platoon command tanks, the radio was changed with a more powerful Magneti Marelli radio that had a 150 km range. All the tanks received 58cm wide T84E1 tracks instead of the old T80E6 type used on the M46 pattern. The early type muzzle brakes were all substituted with mid type ones. At the end of 1952, after crew training, the M47 pattern went to equip some Italian regiments. On 29th December 1952, the 132nd Tank Regiment Secchiaroli of the Armored Division Ariete received 315 M47 patterns. On 1st January 1953, the 4th Tank Regiment Pentimali of the Armored Division Pozzuolo del Friuli received 315 M47 patterns. In mid-January 1953, the 31st Tank Regiment Krako of the Armored Division Centauro received another 315 M47 patterns. The Divisional Scouting Battalion of the Infantry Divisions Granatieri di Sardegna, Legnano and Folgore received 51 M47s each. The second batch of US bought vehicles arrived in 1962. They equipped the Tank Battalion and Divisional Scouting Group of the Mountain Divisions Cremona and Mantova, partly replacing the old M24 Chaffee. In total, the two divisions had 156 tanks, of which about 100 were M47 patterns. In 1963, the entire Armored Division Ariete and Armored Division Centauro were equipped with the M47 replacing the older M26 Pershing in the Cavalry and Scouting Regiments. The older Second World War tanks in their use were later scrapped. Some of the 1,000 ex-American tanks were not immediately modified due to a workers' strike involving many Italian factories in 1959, including those where the tanks were converted. In those years, the left-wing parties in Italy had more than 38% of the support and, Fearing that the striking workers might use the M47 pattern for rebellious purposes, the police harshly suppressed the strikes and demonstrations. After the strikes were quelled and normality was restored, the last M47 modifications were finished in late 1963. In mid-1964, they were put into service in other Italian regiments. The 1st Armored Bersaglieri Regiment of the 131st Armored Division Centauro received 157 M48 patterns and, at last, the cavalry brigade of the Pozzuolo del Friuli was equipped with about 200 M47s. At that time, the Italian tank battalions were organized in platoons with four tanks and a platoon command tank. A company had 16 tanks, three platoons plus a company command tank. The battalion had 51 tanks with three companies plus three command tanks. A regiment had 157 tanks, three battalions plus four command tanks. In total, 
an Italian armored division fully equipped with M47 patterns, was in the possession of 315 tanks plus a cavalry squadron group with 17 tanks, an armored cavalry regiment with 52 tanks, three squadron groups plus a commander tank and a divisional scouting battalion with 51 tanks. A total of 1,901 M47 patterns were in active service in the Italian army in 1967. After 1962, the new commander of the Arma dei Carabinieri, Giovanni da Lorenzo, asked the Italian high command to arm his carabinieri, the military police, with these powerful tanks. After many requests, in mid or late 1963, the Italian army agreed, and in 1964, part of the new M47s were supplied to the 11th Mechanized Brigade of the Carabinieri. 50 went to arm the brigade, while another unclear quantity was supplied to the Carabinieri Vehicle Maintenance Schools to familiarize the crews with these tracked vehicles. The Carabinieri crews would have followed the training course in the training school, like normal tank crews of the Italian army, and then, after the tests were finished, they would be able to operate on the Carabinieri vehicles. In 1967, though, it was discovered that Carabinieri commander General De Lorenzo intended to stage a fascist coup in Italy to eliminate all the politicians of the Communist Party of Italy and the Socialist Party of Italy, who at the time were gathering momentum. The plan was foiled and, in order to prevent another coup, the army requisitioned some of the Carabinieri tanks. Twenty remained in service until 1970, when they were sent from their headquarters in Rome to Reggio Calabria, southern Italy, due to political problems. Their violent clashes were erupting in the city between the police and the Carabinieri on one side and the citizens of the city on the other. Only a few M113s were used during the months of the confrontations in Reggio Calabria. The M47 tanks were never used, but they served as a deterrent to avoid attempts by citizens to occupy the city by force. Many sources state that in 1969, entire M47 patterns were buried and some M47 turrets were mounted in special concrete boxes and used as bunkers in the fortifications of the Alpine Wall, a series of defensive lines positioned on the eastern border of Italy to defend against hypothetical attacks by the armies of the Warsaw Pact. None of the fortifications employed M47s, as it was preferred to use the obsolete M26 Pershing tanks, which had a similar armament to that of the M47 pattern. Some images are available on the web that show some 90mm M36 cannons mounted in anti-tank bunkers. These were probably mounted in the 70s. In the 1970s, the Italian army received an improved version of the M47 pattern from many Italian companies, which developed these as private projects, such as Otto Melaro in La Spezia, Officine Marconi and Astra all of which made a single prototype using M47 tanks. In mid-1967, a prototype of the M47 pattern Italiano was started. The changes made by Otto Melara were the replacement of the 90mm cannon with a British Royal Ordnance L7 105mm L52 NATO cannon on the mounts of the existing M46. The Continental AV1790 5B petrol engine was substituted with a more efficient AVDS 1792A diesel engine of the M60 pattern, whilst the 1055 litre fuel tanks were left unchanged. A heat suppressor to reduce the infrared signature was also installed. The General Motors CD854 gearbox was substituted with the M60 pattern's hydraulic gearbox. A new design of the final reduction drives was introduced as well. A new electrical system and a redesigned diesel feeding system with diesel filters were other modifications. The prototype was ready in early 1968. It could carry 56 rounds, 10 in ready racks and 46 in a new armored and fireproof rack in the hull. A fire control system and a computerized optical sight were also added. The vehicle's range was increased from 160 to 400 kilometers according to tests carried out in 1968. 
Starting in 1969, Marconi also produced an upgraded version. Only one prototype was built, mostly looking at upgrades for the firing system. It added a brand new fire control system and sights, and replaced the original stereoscopic rangefinder with a more efficient one made in Italy. It was also proposed to transform the tank into a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. An armored recovery vehicle version was also proposed later, re-engined with the 525 horsepower General Motors 12V71T diesel, but this was not a success. In 1967, three other companies proposed an engine upgrade of the M47. These were the Fiat Military Vehicles Company with a Continental engine, the ISI company with an MTU MB838 CAM 500, a 10-cylinder multi-fuel engine with a power of 820 horsepower, the same engine of the Leopard 1, and the Servizio Tecnico di Motorizzazione with an unidentified diesel engine. Astra also presented upgrade projects for the turret and for the gun elevation mechanisms. During 1968, all the four upgrade versions were homologated and presented to the Italian army, which submitted them to rigorous trials to test the efficiency of the new engines and the stress on the frame from the 105mm gun in the auto version. On October 10th of the same year, the auto prototype with 105 by 52 cannon was presented to the Pakistani and Spanish delegations. Both armies wanted to modernize the M47 patterns in service in their countries and were invited by Otto Melara in the hope of finding buyers. During the tests, the vehicle reached a maximum speed of 73 km per hour and hit targets over 4,500 meters away. The performance, however, did not achieve the desired results of the two delegations, which did not order any vehicles. The Spanish produced their own version, possibly inspired by the Otomelara project. This new tank was called the M47E2 Patton and was armed with a 105mm L52 Rheinmetall 105 cannon of the Leopard 1 and received other small changes. The 46.8 ton heavy tank was equipped with the M60 engine that increased the speed up to 56 km per hour and, as in the Otomelara model, the autonomy was increased to 400 km. No vehicle was converted because the Italian army was not interested in updating the M47 pattern, preferring to buy other vehicles, such as the Leopard 1, which was tested in 1970, and between 1971 and 1972, 200 Leopard 1s and 69 Leopard ARVs were acquired by Italy. The scrapping of the M47 tanks began in the late 70s. 100 re-engined M47s, some from Otomelara and others from Marconi, were given to the dictatorial regime of Mohamed Siad Bare in Somalia. They were used in the Ogaden War to balance the supply of Soviet material to Ethiopia. They were employed in the war with great success, fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ethiopian T-34-85 and T-55. In the civil war that broke out a few years later, they were again employed, but this time, due to a lack of spare parts, they were soon put out of use and employed in fixed positions. With the advent of the more modern M61 and Leopard 1A2, the M47 was gradually discontinued. The last vehicles were in service in the 1980s with the armored schools and the brigades with less operational readiness. Aosta, Aki, Friuli and Cremona. In Italy, the last M47 pattern was replaced from the second line units when the B1 Centauro tank destroyer entered service in 1989. The M47 pattern too produced to provide the US Army with a simple to manufacture and inexpensive tank, was replaced from US service as soon as possible in favor of much more efficient and powerful vehicles. In Italy, it was appreciated for its performances as, until 1952, the Italian army still mostly employed tanks from the Second World War, such as the Semovente da 7518 or the US M4 Sherman. Used until the late 80s, the M47 was for many years the main tank of the Italian tank corps before the service entry of the more powerful M60 Patton and Leopard 1A2. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that bell button. We'll be releasing new videos on the regular. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or Reddit. If you use Discord, there's a link to our community server in the description. 
And if you would like to help us continue to develop and expand, please consider donating on Patreon or PayPal. All of the funds will be used to help us enhance and design new articles and features for you. Until next time, keep us in your sights.